Very good. What do you hope to get out of the, the bleach jet? Um, anything in particular from your point of view or just sort of getting that, that chemistry going and get, get ahead of the season proper? Yeah, I think just continuing to build. Um, you know, it's going on a month together and uh, the last last week was really good for us, just coming together both on and off the court and um, guys developing chemistry and, you know, we're still adding pieces back. Uh, good to have Jack back on the court with us this week and just creating that familiarity of different guys playing with, with different lineups and um, just continuing to grow together. How do you feel at this stage this year to, as opposed to this time last year? I guess obviously a few more injuries to, to deal with this, at this stage, but um, do you feel the chemistry is there like it was last year? Or? Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, I think it's night and day to where we were last year at this point. Um, there was just so much uncertainty last year. You know, you practice a lot and don't know how really good you can be. And uh, this year, um, I'm pretty confident if we play the way we're capable of and we do the right things, uh, we'll have a chance to win some games. What does getting Jack back add to the group? Obviously, we know the type of player he is, but just that energy and, and what he brings, uh, that those intangibles, I suppose, how big a factor is that for you guys? Yeah, he, he brings our communication level up. Uh, our Probably our positivity as a group is, is up when Jack's on the court, and uh, he's fun to play with, and um, you know he brings some joy to the group for sure. As the floor general, Josh, does uh, the two new imports excite you and uh, what can be done on the offensive end particularly? Yeah, they've been great. I mean, I think y'all saw in the first two games how explosive and how talented they are. Um, they're fun to play with and I think we're still scratching the surface. Um, they're still, you know, learning our process and learning how we go about business every single day and how we like to play and you know they're doing a great job of fitting in but also showcasing their talents and what they're capable of. Is that exciting that they're already putting in good performances and as you said there's still a lot of room to grow? Yeah no it, it's a lot of positive a lot of positive coming out of it um, they're they're true pros and you know it, it doesn't take long for them to adapt to the new surroundings they've played all over the world they've played in different systems and um, they're super talented guys and they're fun to play with and uh, I think as we go throughout the blitz and into the season we'll just continue developing that chemistry and we'll keep building. How have you found um, having a couple other Americans here and, and introducing them I guess to the Tassie lifestyle as well? Yeah it's been great. Uh, I told them I promise that the weather is going to get better and warmer um, so we're, we're all adjusting to that but uh, yeah no it's fun to have new people to show off Hobart too and uh, Tell them about all the favorite restaurants around town and places to get coffee. And um, yeah, it's been it's been good to have them here. How are you going kind of bringing guys into an established culture versus working as a group to build a, a new culture as you went last year? Yeah, I, I think a lot of our, our values and standards have kind of stayed the same, and we'll carry on into this year. And um, they've done a, a, a lot of credit goes to Scott about the kind of guys he brings in. It's not like we're having to to wrangle anybody in you know they just they fit in seamlessly and they're just have been themselves and uh, you know they're just a great part of the group and we'll continue to, to grow more comfortable with everybody. The coach has speak, spoken about the defensive end of things not quite being there yet where's that sort of breaking down at this stage and how do you go about fixing it? Um, yeah probably uh, multifaceted I would say it starts with our communication and guys just learning our terminology uh, where to be in, in certain situations and uh, just having that sense of urgency you know for 40 minutes we, we had a really bad first half in that second game against Southeast but we're able to turn it up in the second half and that's not always going to be the case we have to be able to play for 40 minutes I think. About a month ago, Scott was asked who he thought could take a big jump this year, um, and he actually said you. Um, what do you make of that, and, and how do you think you can lift your improvement this year? Yeah, no, I, I, I'm happy that he said that because I think that a jump is is capable, and um, I'm excited to to get out there and uh, kind of prove last year was a bit of an anomaly the way I shot the ball. Um, been feeling good in practice, and uh, you know, just I think. Being more efficient on the offensive end is, is where I can make that jump and um, just making more shots will, will make everything easier for everybody. Looking forward to getting reacquainted with the Sydney Kings guys at this preseason. It'll be the first time you've met them since the grand final. Yeah, it'll be good. Um, you know, there'll be a great team. It'll be a really good test for us. Um, they'll be flying up and down the court like they did last year, so it'll be a good test for our for our defense and um, just continuing to build and focus on us mostly in this preseason, but it'll be good to play against a good opponent. Would it be fair to say the team has a lot more confidence this year? Last year it was unknown now with what you obviously did last year. Do you feel like there's more confidence within the group? Yeah, I'd say so. Um, you know, I think kind of what I touched on earlier, just there's not that uncertainty of wondering if we're going to be a good team. We know if we go out there and, and play 
you know, jack jump for basketball and, and do what we're capable of, we're going to be right there in the fourth quarter and have a chance to win games. Lovely. I appreciate you guys. Thank awesome. you.